Jonas do this? Like totally bumming my house up and bringing me down. So very uncool. Why can't you let birds and bees be free, bro? Listen to me, Tree. You have no idea what you're playing with. It'll bring more than your house down. Look, bro. I see you are a tough cowboy. A man with taste, style, vision, a connoisseur of finer things. Like me. Look, I'm sure the two cats in a bag like us can work something out. Yeah? We smooth. Look, see the money. You like the money. You can take all you want. I can. No deal. You and the rest of the claw gang have to be stopped. Clockwork will never again see the light of day. Just hand over the tail feathers and we can... What is this with clocks, bro? Have you no vision? Are you hearing what I mean to you? You think you have juice? Don't show me a little mind when talking about such big things. You think you can swing the bat? Show your bling and let me shine you. I have no idea what you're saying. And your suit sucks. No! Let's dance! Yeah. My suit is greasy sweet! Another clockwork part had surfaced in India, so the boys and I loaded up the van and zeroed in on our next target, a mysterious spice lord known as Rajan. A self-made man who grew up poor on the streets of Calcutta, he started his life of crime selling illegal spices in the black market, eventually growing his small outfit to a sizable operation and earning himself a seat in the prestigious Claw Gang. He's since crowned himself Lord of the Hills, and while he goes to great lengths to convince others of his royalty, it's mostly to convince himself. True to form, he's holding a lavish ball in his newly purchased Ancestral Palace. The reason? To show off his latest acquisition, the Clockwork Wings, the symbol of my enemy. If you saw the wings silhouetted against the night sky, it was already too late for you, especially if your name was Cooper. Rajan believes displaying the wings will bring in prestige, and maybe they will, but they're also bringing me. Up, the only way across that river is on those conical rocks. Do you remember how to spire jump? What? You think I forget one of the Cooper family's greatest thief moves? Whenever I'm near pointed objects, I just need to jump and hit the circle button to perform a ninja spire landing. That's correct. Now let's see it in action. <laughs> Thank you. 
off the ballroom without being detected. The only problem is there's no way to climb up to that balcony door. Not a problem. There seem to be plenty of branches for me to walk on. I'll figure it out. specializes in exotic technology. undercover to expose Rajan's spice ring. Carmelita's here too. She must be undercover with the Contessa to help bust Rajan. Yourself, Sly. This party is crawling with cops. <laughs> That's all the photos I need. Bring them back to the safe house, and we'll start building a game plan. <laughs> Stealing the clockwork wings in the middle of a crowded ballroom is going to take some serious misdirection. And the squad of undercover cops only makes things more complicated. Although, 
we might be able to use them to our advantage. But no matter what we do in the ballroom, sooner or later we'll need to deal with Rajan's security chopper. Murray can take it out with some of the local armaments, but he won't be able to get inside the palace until Sly lowers the drawbridge for him. I'd love to, pal, but the winch is all locked down. You know where I can find the keys? Key guards have recently taken up positions around the palace. Sneak in, pick all of their pockets, and bring the keys back to the lockdown winch. this guard from his post. Try ringing that gong and picking his pocket when he returns to his post.
Hello, I'm here for the dance. Huh? Sorry, sir, but we have a dress code. You got a tuxedo? Uh, no. Sorry, pal. No tux, no entry. Sorry, Sly. Somehow I totally overlooked the need for formal wear. Well, that guy's not going to let you in without a tuxedo. Don't beat yourself up, Bentley. At a party this ritzy, there has to be a spare penguin suit around here somewhere. Try the guest house. Someone may have overpacked.
Okay, Bentley. I'm in position inside the guest house. Have any intel for me? Oh, well, I recommend searching all the rooms. It's statistically probable that each should hold at least one portion of a tuxedo. What do I look for inside the rooms? This isn't an exact science. Ransack the place until you find part of a tuxedo. Any plan which involves ransacking is okay with me. Attention, guards. This is Lord Rajan. The party here is a whole spring and all visitors are now in the ballroom. Now, why this ball may be on the up and up. Not all of the guests are. So be all careful look out for problems. I don't want any bad press from this event.
It's all covered in missiles and guns and stuff. Now be a team player and take it out with that rusty pre-war turret. Okay, I had a potato gun once. I bet it works just the same. Hit buttons fast to keep your strike up. <laughs>
Murray triumphant! Good work! The sky's all clear! Got your tuxedo now, sir? Of course I do. I'm here to dance. Then come on in. I know just the girl for the job. Constable Neela, you look lovely this evening. I'm sorry. Do I know you? I used to chase after you back in Paris. Paris? Sly Cooper? You aren't by any chance here to turn yourself in. Old Ironsides would fall out of her dress. As good as that sounds, how about a dance first? Enchanté. Try to memorize the steps. Now your turn. Me 
to get at old Ironsides. Yes, I am. Do you mind? Not at all. That fellow is very graceful. If only you moved spice shipments as well. Oh, silence. Thank you. That was delightful. Thank you, Constable Neela. After all, it takes two to tango. Yes, and three is always a crowd. Neela, your friend here is quite an accomplished dancer. I tried to make him look good. Please, Neela, his skills far surpass you. Perhaps later you and I might share a dance, Miss... Miss Fox. Carmelita Fox. And I accept. <laughs> Alright boys, we're ready for the next phase. My plan to get at the clockwork wings requires the use of the electric winch above the ballroom. To get control over the device, I'll need to hack the computers in Rajan's boardroom. Plus, we'll need an extra strong saw blade to cut the wings off the statue. To make a saw blade that durable, I'll need Sly to steal the gems off the headdresses on Rajan's prize elephants. And finally, I'll take to the field with my remote control helicopter and nullify the palace's surface-to-air defenses. That should clear things up for the heights. You look familiar to me. Are you in law enforcement? I often deal with police while on the job. 